good old Twitch, always refusing to update my titles. In any case, back to Gogo Loango. My first trip to Africa. I've had a fair few compliments on the name. And by compliments, I mean people saying, Why? Why that name? So I'm exhausted from attempting the same mission on uh, Stronghold 18 times, but we got there in the end. Sure, it was a bit crispy, but we made it. And now we can relax with Lohango. And it really will be just relaxing, I believe, because we managed to kick the Europeans out of Africa soundly. We should really do something about the way you keep losing the effects of trading at the turn of the month, only to get them back near instantly. But I digress. <coughs> We've managed to colonize everything to keep the uh, Europeans out of the way. They would have to go on a conquering spree to actually get themselves into Africa now. And that works out nicely for us, so... We're gonna relax, we're gonna tech up a bit, we're going to not have any horrible disasters. Our great heir is gonna make it to the throne, there's gonna be no problems. We're gonna afford ourselves all these amazing advisors. Do we need military? Who knows, we'll take it anyway. We got money to burn. Everything will just be... Fairly zen. Don't even need to pay our troops much. Actually, we probably do. There are quite a lot of rebels wanting to rise up. Not by much. In fact, some might say barely by any. But we got money to burn. Jake, what about Cape Verde? Ah, I know what you mean. You mean this one, right? That's alright. Portugal is pathetic, so... It really is hard to keep track of people these days. Wait, what? They went from Boina to Boina, and then went away to some other place. I assume. Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, man, I am, I am truly exhausted. That display on Stronghold was... Kind of funny, but at the same time, oh god. Mostly, oh god. So how's Loango doing? If you haven't been keeping up to speed, we're looking fairly low on autonomy. Religiously, we're getting everything slowly done to Sunni. It's been a very rare game where I do not take religious ideas. I'm as surprised as you are. What do we have here? Portuguese, Brazilian... Rebels, ah, they're very unlikely to rise up there. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> Someone's asking if the Maldives count as Africa. I certainly hope not. No, they're in Asia. The one that gets quite a lot of people is this one, Diego Garcia. It counts as being in Africa. Oh, right. Morocco is really weak right now. If ever there was a time to strike, it would be now. I have been told to conquer Tuat for quite some time. And now that they are at their low military point, that's a good idea. The trouble is, doesn't appear to be anyone we can release from them. Or is there? There is Tlemcen. Ugh. It's tricky. Whichever way you cut it, we're going to have to swallow this uh, increased coring cost. Yeah, I suppose I could beat Tlemcen out of Morocco. It'll certainly give my units something to do during the downtime. It'll give me a good, ex good excuse to get that funded. Sure, we got all this force limit. Why not? I'm sure the Bonham and Separatists won't rise up any time. Bonham and... Uh, it's just a slight problem with the animism. Wouldn't be too much of a hit to us just to raise autonomy so we don't have to deal with these accursed rebels. And really they only want to rise up in Dagbon because we're uh, trying to convert it. 
indeed that is excellent. What isn't excellent is us having to core our own colonies. And our severe lack of boats. I think we got rid of our heavies last time? That seems like something I would do in disgust toward, to, towards my own navy. Although, why am I so keen to fight Morocco? Well, they are my rival. A bit of a uh, humiliation would go a long way. And we have the fairly good tech advantage over them. It is a little disappointing that I don't have the... Uh, real ability to punch out as much as I want from them. Improve relations with Morocco. As if that's ever going to happen. Really what we need to do is not be spending our uh, precious points. Like We really need to not be doing that. Because we don't have any to spare. None at all. We're very far behind in tech and I would love to get some administrative efficiency. Curiously, administrative efficiency doesn't uh, impact how fast you integrate people, does it? Diplomatically, I mean. Yeah, maybe we should just push into Morocco whilst we have this overwhelming advantage. Maybe overwhelming is uh, pushing the boat out a bit much. After all, they do have the Mamluks on their side. But if we can dash Morocco and grab a uh... yeah if we got these two for Tlemcen to split them up got rid of their uh, friendships that might be nice a good way to exercise our exercise our swords yeah, and I can just raise myself a little army What's that I don't know 10 4 10 Get them all on Barnaman since that seems to be the one that wants to rise up. Or Dagbon. Dagbon. Okay, don't know if you saw that, but my whole screen just hiccuped. I wonder if my PC is kind of on fire right now. That'll be fine. <sighs> How nice and relaxing. Yeah, Susa, I did not think I would be rolling a stronghold like that as the punishment game, and it hit hard. Hit real hard. Okay, you're even also at war with the Ottomans. Which means the Mamluks are there, which means the Mamluks probably won't want to join in after much more. That's very useful. Indonesia is nicely consolidated into two states. Yeah, I'm quite uh, proud of Pasai there. They're doing well for themselves. Colonists should be there very soon, but this will be more than enough. Or rather, these will be more than enough units to deal with that. I only really want a little holding there so I can get the East, Ind East Indian Trade modifier. Ooh, this I don't want, however. Let's hope Spain don't come knocking for all those cores. Peasants in Messina and separatists in Bahia. Ah, oh, shoot. The Bahians I'm not so keen on having to deal with. And the peasants are in Messina. Messina can be dealt with extremely quickly. These guys, I'm not so sure. It's not got a fort or anything.
On you go, lads. Yeah, it's like when I do something here, it's really uh, making my whole screen just go. Whoops. Could be that my game, like me, just needs a rest. This, uh, this music is way too um, upbeat for the situation in my country. We're just trying to take it easy. Stop trading on it, treading on everyone's toes. Now I need to make sure that this province is well defended, otherwise I will lose the founding of the East Indian Trade Company. But that extra merchant will be most appreciated. I wonder if you can just start collecting here and maybe also be collecting here. Here, is that worth my time, I wonder? Because I could lose out quite a bit from this. Let's give it a go anyway. And compare what we make to what we, uh, we will make. I mean, that's a nice start. From uh, 8 to 11? To 12? Yeah. Yeah, that, that is rather nice. Ugh. More separatism. My favourite kind of separatism. <laughs> separatism plus 19. Yeesh. And that doesn't even tick down the rebel faction there. We're going to have to get this land back. Okay, after it's given a few months, is this really how it ends up? Yeah, extra money. That's my favourite kind of money. Oh, cavalry combat ability. So strong. It's, it's really not so strong. But we'll take it anyway. Okay, the Mamluks are now definitely not wanting to join in because they find themselves rather crushed by Ottoman troops. I know it's just for Tuat, and I don't even want Tuat, but... Better to have, better to have it ourselves and give them that entrance into us. So we'll just declare war, have a bit of fun. I wonder if they will just slap us silly here. Could happen. Okay, so with Dagbon no longer being converted, we can wait for these Dagbanis to go away. Actually, whilst we're waiting for that, we can actually get Oyo done. I don't think Oyo have Dagbanis. No, it's Oyo separatists, and they... nah. They're nothing to worry about. Good heavens, they have far too many, uh, too many infantry, even for a North African, which means squish is what it means. Although speaking of too many, I got too many cannons. I'll put them to work on the uh, on the fort. What I'm looking here, what I'm looking for here, is certainly not taking tons of land. That is probably one of the last things I want right now. Because I don't want to core all these horrible provinces. 50% extra core creation cost. For those of you who haven't played this game for a long time, would you believe it actually used to be 200% extra coring cost for Berber lands? And there was no such thing as getting an overseas discount on it. Uh, block, uh, the fort blocks me here. And yes, I want that piety so I can finally convert some more provinces. Hmm. Ten artillery would sort that out, so we'll throw a few more onto the pile. 
and we will push. Okay, I even find myself wondering where do I throw my colonists? I could grab further control of this area, which kind of strikes me as a half decent idea. I could also uh, colonize further here, but there's no rush to do that. No one around here can colonize that. Whereas I would quite like to have a bit of a uh, windfall for that area. Uh, even the right word to use, I wonder. Okay, so he's going to come back for round two, and I'm going to kill him. Nice and relaxed. We're not going to be pushing the boat out with uh, with this, that's for certain. Jake, assault. No thanks. Not with 3,000. Hmm. He wants to retreat into his land. It's funny, none of the... Uh, the gaining trade good events goes, oh no, what a garbage trade good. It's all like, oh wow, you can't have enough grain ever. Or, naval supplies, sign me up. Jake, to get African power, is there one name? Can you create client states so they can core them? I think it has to be one tagged. Think and don't uh, don't quote me on that one, but I'm fairly certain it needs to be a one tag. Uh, you fought well, but now you're dead. I think that was really all I was wanting. It only cost me that much. Then again, there's no one that will really coalition me for all of this, so I. May as well just take a whole bunch. Tlemcen, Tlemcen. Oh, not Tlemcen, that's Tunis. Yeah, I'll be spitting them out as a vassal anyway. Ah, but I was wanting to break them up a bit, no? Cancelling subjects is a bit expensive, especially since those land is the land is pretty much nothing. And it's just that someone else will take them anyway. They've already broken their alliance. That's a ton of land that Tuniz lays claim to though. Tuniz is too big to vassalize mind. Ah, how could I forget? I want humiliation. And probably war reparations as well. So, yeah, sure. Sounds like an excellent time to go and kill. Mountains won't save you, Morocco. Whew. I'm afraid the core on Sus is gone. If indeed it was ever truly there. Ugh, this is the worst. I already gave in to particularists and they want to rise up again. Particularly on Grain Coast. Strange. Would have thought I would have given that uh, autonomy already. Guess I missed it. No, that is a real shame. I want you over there. Stop that from ever becoming a thing. Because as I said before, I hate particularists so much. Walk war, get your tens to ones. Yeah, 
Yeah, one thing that I want to get in this run as well is the All Your Trade Are Belong To Us achievement. Oh, and that's another thing that I want. I don't care if he's level 3. I'm having that missionary strength. Because that's one thing we actually struggle with right now. Can you take over? Because there is a... Uh, a little bit of a stack here that needs to go. Seems they want my precious war score. Wait, maybe I can't just blitz them with my uh, cannons. I wonder how strong they think they are. I'll add this to the long list of wars in this campaign that I am fighting very poorly, but I just want to get through a bit of this. It's nice and relaxing. Especially when you can see all this lovely land that's now mine. I just feel so satisfied that the disgusting Europeans have been kicked out of my glorious supercontinent. Yes, I will now call it the supercontinent. Better than a normal continent. We get extra attrition because of the desert warfare that these guys have. Just for being a, a Berber North African. You should really release Granada or Lyon. Uh, Granada is just barely available. Does Granada take religious ideas? I don't think they do. Okay, it's easy enough. Get everything I want. Welcome, Clemson. Also, this uh, this song. Didn't I remove it? Didn't I remove it like a million times? There we go. Maybe I'm just going insane. Tuat is ours. I don't want to hear anything of revolt from it. Just make it ours. And there we go with this added punch. We can even uh, get all these horrible provinces converted. Focus on the harder ones. Hmm, costly trade embargo. Ah, we lost Morocco as a rival. The Ottomans are always going to be our enemy, but if we make Portugal our enemy, then we can uh, embargo them at no cost. France, Spain, Portugal. We want these guys out of our trade node anyway. We've already done you. Can do you as well. Well, once our truce is over at least. And that way, he has 14% of the power after the change. A measly 8%. Well worth the money. But Morocco, they're no longer necessary. That's alright, a bit of separatism will make absolutely no difference here. <sighs> this is just lovely and relaxing. Although this will not be a particularly long stream because, hell, it is late. It is very late. It 
So all we really see there is the five years of separatism. Nothing to worry about. And good job to Morocco, they managed to finish their westernization even after getting the beat down. That tax income plus five is actually five per year, so it's a fairly small amount. Although Aragon, getting them to love us, that's nice and easy. Jake, coming from the guy who suggested you the Athens campaign, new suggestion, start as England, release Dublin, Meath, as a vassal, and conquer all East Slavic culture lands. There's a pun there in the show The Bohemians. You'll get it if you've seen it. Okay, I have not seen it, but... Granted, I haven't played as an Irish miner in a long, long time. So that could be a bit of fun. What did I play as? It was Tyrone, and I got the uh, Luck of the Irish achievement. Way back in EU3, I got the... Uh, all oh, right. Of course, I sent you guys over there, and they're s well. They're about to rise up. Ugh, we'll get them, defeat them here, and then we'll get everyone back home. Join you up with the rest of these folks. Not a problem. Except when you rip my troops to shreds, but still, not a problem. You guys all meet up the Grain Coast to deal with them. Get rid of those Loango. Ugh. That is truly horrible. I don't want them rising up at all. The moss is in Borgu. This is what happens when you don't take religious ideas. If I had religious ideas, all these lands would be converted oh so quickly. As for now, they are not. Okay, we've got the backup that we need to keep the colonization going here. We'll ditch you, throw you there. And this will be our little uh, trade station sensation. Or something to that effect. Get that tech flowing. <laughs> Especially that naval morale. Hot damn, that was a long time coming. And yes. Ship durability plus five percent. That could potentially help us out in the long run. Okay, so our truce is gone with Portugal. That means that we fire off a quick uh, embargo towards them. Smoke in that PP, and what is more, our power in the Ivory Coast will continue to grow. I can't believe just with uh, 37 power, Great Britain is soaking up that much of our trade. It's truly disgusting. And Portugal's getting all of it, that's the kick of it. Hmm. <laughs> Jake, Joloff attempts to hide using the chameleon strategy. It's mostly the fact that I want to tech up more than I want to take Joel off. Granted, I could throw down one last claim and take care of what's left of them. Speaking of things that I could claim, Mutapa have been sitting there. I do want my claims so that I'm ready to take them at a moment's notice. But the thing is, what I really want is some administrative efficiency. And I'll get that in the next four. The next four techs, which isn't that many, really. I'm normally so miserly with my points, and right now I'm just spending them left and right. I wonder if 5,000 heavy ships is something you could ever realistically afford. Maybe when we get all that trade that are belong to us. And I mean 5,000 functional heavy ships. Not, uh, not ones that you've got unpaid for. Unpaid for, jeez. Yes, I can in Duthosaurus. The heck? None? No. No canoe. Hmm. A 
Australia is not exactly somewhere I'm planning on taking. But if no one else is... Yes, Fernando Po for too long. Cape Coast. None of this is particularly useful. Jake, another suggestion. Start as Galicia Volhynia, released from Poland, and conquer all of Eastern Europe and China. Why China? China is never difficult to conquer. So adding them as uh, part of what you need to do isn't really adding anything. Uh, losing all my claims on Jewel Off, though, that's not so nice. I'm actually going to have to reclaim all of them, but that's okay. Don't want to spend a dip conquering their lands? Heavens no. I need that for teching. Of course, their lands are 18, 19, 20, 21, 29, 290 admin to core it all. With claims, more like 270. A recruiting crisis? Nah. We got manpower to spare. I suppose I could use the trick to uh, completely bypass the manpower loss there, but ugh, who's even keeping score? Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lovely. All those not so ferocious natives anymore. Matt Clemson lost a lot of their cores. Guess I'll have to feed them the uh, old fashioned way by force. Let's see, defensive, religious, administrative, they should have no problem with all of this. I'll just eat it all up and I will integrate them, shedding yet more dip points. But I don't need dip points to get myself the administrative efficiency. I just need it for advanced Cassus Belly. Also useful, but eh. Jake, would you consider doing a Cyprus campaign again as Cyprus control all the Mediterranean coast? How do you know I played as Cyprus before? Besides, when I do Cyprus, I would want to do the Jerusalem achievement. Of course, that goes hand in hand. Poor British troops, they have no idea where to go. Poor Brazilian province, it's uh, horrifically... horrifically autonomous. But all this being at peace is really good for the autonomy. Gotta make that money somehow. Not a fan with how much I'm losing from Timbucks too, though. Did they do something to my trade? I mean, I make three ducats here, but could I be doing more if I pushed it down here? Feels like I've lost so much of my power. Because Portugal's fighting... I'm fighting against Portugal here by trying to take it, whereas if I threw it down here... I'd collect half of it. We'll check. Hmm. Another point is that I'm throwing these over here. That's still 11, so... Ugh, I'll roll with it. <clears throat> okay, now they're, now we're getting a lot of campaign suggestions, which... Nah, I ain't got the time to be reading through all those. My ideas are cheap. Don't 
really think I care about the autonomy and yeah, man. Right, once the separatism goes, I'm actually going to have to spend quite a bit of these dip points kicking the European cultures out of my country. They have got to go. Jake, whatever happened to the I knew campaign? So here's the thing. There are lots of campaigns that I want to do. But there's only so much time. And when you do a full-time job, as well as this extremely professional stream. Uh, just isn't uh, a whole lot of time left over. Okay, Catholic Zealots wish to rise up as well. Whereabouts? Gabon. Also conquer Termes. Yes. Shame, we could have had the increase uh, control of our spices, or increase our control of the spices. But we did not. Right, well, where was this again? Gabon. I know that. We already increased autonomy here. We'll just have to hope that we don't get the zealots. Or we could throw you down on it to minimize the risk. It all works out. Jake, would you ever consider trying out one of the content adding mods? Again, it goes under the same uh, not enough time in the world argument. Sure, I want to. But from where do I get the time? Okay, I can't actually spend that since I need it for coring. Damn, it's good to be the best African around. <laughs> I've actually been in the perfect situation to get the three Georgias achievement for quite some time, and I just never do it because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to go out of my way for this little achievement. I can get it some other time, and I never do. These quality ideas. Normally I, p I dismiss quality because I see it as the idea that, uh, like, half of your ideas are wasted on getting um, naval upgrades, and who cares about the navy? Well, I'm starting to feel like I do want a lovely, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, really, what is it called? An ego navy, something like that. Just to feel good about myself. Jake, I think your next run should be a modded one. Vanilla 